Guys, I'm at a top secret location here in Pinjara. Shane has finally agreed to show me the hoard, the mother load of his mower collection. So we're at his mum's house. Just uh, saying hi to mum, and then we're gonna get into it. See what he's got. You ready? I'm ready. I'm salivating. <laughs> She's got a few. Just a, just a few. So this is this is one shed. Have you got another shed full as well? No. This is it. This is it. This yeah. is the entire collection. This is the entire collection. Yeah. Pretty good collection. So what do you got in here? Forty uh, fives? Yeah. There's uh, there's uh, ages about twenty or five or more ages. Yeah. Series ones. Some really nice. Um, edges with the uh, spanners still hanging off them. Yeah. Um, uh, this one here is quite unique in as much as I bought that personally, brand new in 1982. So that was your first? That was my very Scotty. first Scott Bond that I bought. Yeah. It's a shame about the handlebars. Unfortunately, my, my carport at home wasn't um, built in. Oh, yeah. So it lived in there and the moisture got to the handlebars. So it just had very little done to it. So the clutch half on it, the clutch cable, that's it. Um, there's edges all over the place. <laughs> Along here is the quite rare twin lever rover. Oh, yeah. So yeah, that's the original it. twin lever rover. Uh, there's a unicorn. Yeah. There's another unicorn. Um, over here we have some really nice rovers. Yeah, they were um, jumping out, they were very red. <laughs> yeah, there's some selects amongst them. Yeah. Um, here we have um, 20 inch for the Kirby, very original. In front of that, with the red uh, five horsepower bridge, yeah. is my pride and joy. And that is a triple roller, twin rail, with a capture that's almost perfect. Yeah. Um, it is a really, really nice machine. I bought that off a 80 year old Macedonian man <laughs> that his father bought it brand new. I love how you remember the stories for these. Yeah. <laughs> Despite um, having a few of them. <laughs> I, I know somebody asked me for a diplomat catcher. I have a few, yeah. but they're not for sale. So? There's some diplomats there. There's some rotaries over there. If anybody wants to buy a rotary Scott Bonner. Oh, down the back, yeah. Yeah, the down the back, some really nice ones there. Yeah. Um, so this is for sale, some, some or all? Not, not, not all, obviously, but some. Uh, I'm going to reduce this down considerably because I've come to the conclusion that um, I'll run out of time to do it with them. Yeah. Um, and that wasn't the plan. The plan was to restore them and um, there's an there's an original little that's really spanner, nice, yeah. um, not saying it's better. The plan was to restore them um, and sell them in retirement, but I'm never going to get to them. Business has gone too, too busy, too big, and yeah. um, unfortunately, so I'll keep quite a few of them. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot here solid X17 with Edger pulleys on them. Um, not many 14s, a couple of 14s there. Uh, a very nice, I do have in amongst this one, three what I call black face. Yeah, oh right, with this the black, black side black, yeah, and black, yeah. So I have a 14, a 17 and a 20. Yeah. Um, with the black faces on them. Um, what, what about edges? Do you have any of that? Sorry? I just thought an edge of pulley. Um, oh, yes, over, over at home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've got the, 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 the edge attachments. The edge, edge no, attachments. Three or four of them or something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the Rovers I probably will keep, maybe. The Twin Rail and the Unicorns I'll probably keep, maybe. Um, but I will sell some of the some of the others off. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I've got this in a deal with something. That old pram handle jobby. Oh, yeah. Um, 33. Yeah. It's only 33 I've ever owned. Yeah. Um, some 20s here, there's a row of 20s here. Yeah, yeah. So this used to be absolutely chock-a-block with legs up and tables yes. and, <laughs> and there's another row of mowers, not as big, 
but probably out to about here, stacked on top. So you've been doing a bit of selling? Oh, look, if I don't advertise them. People come along and more local people <laughs> say, hey, I really want a 14. Have you got one? I sold one the other day to a bloke. Um, he was restoring it. He's restored a, a couple now, but he said I want to do a 14, so I sold him a 14. Um, cool. But yeah, it's a little bit depleted now. Um, some new catches here. Um, three oh, yeah. brand new. Yeah. Period correct catches. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty uh, pretty impressive. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nonetheless, I'd say. It's dwindled a lot now. Yeah. At one time, I think I had 145 mowers, yeah. 30 something gauges, and about 10 diplomats, um, half a dozen rotaries, <laughs> and probably 10 other miscellaneous yeah. junk. <laughs> but there's, there's a, a, a genuine Ings edger. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's side plates here, there's handlebars, there's yeah. rollers, there's <laughs> all sorts of stuff. Um, but trust me, it's not free, <laughs> um, and I'm not going to give anything away. Yeah. Um, but there is some nice machines here. Yeah, I'll leave it up to the uh, viewers to get in touch if they want to, if anything catches their eye, I guess, but uh, you can sort that out with them. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Thanks for showing us though, Shane. That's, uh... I think you're the first person, Michael, who's uh, actually ever been here I, uh, and recorded anything like this. I have a feeling. Uh, As, uh, Shane told me I should be blindfolded coming in here, but uh, yeah. here we are. Yeah, <laughs> Inside when, scoop, love Lauren. <laughs> when it was a lot, um, it was quite probably a lot more impressive when it was, if you imagine, just double story. Yeah. And this was just packed. Handlebars there. Yeah. Um, Thanks, Shane. Awesome stuff. Yeah, thanks. There you have it.